Welcome back everybody, this is Power Surge. I wanna to talk to you today about the restaurant apocalypse, the thousands of restaurants that are closing their doors over the last year and in the future. What you might be able to do as a restaurant employee or server going forward. So I've come back last night from a great shift at work. I really enjoyed myself. Some of you know I am a server a couple days a week for extra money. And the restaurant I was at last night had a little bit of a gloom aura inside because we lost two of our stores. We're closing two very close restaurants to us. And we know that this is a sign of trimming fat for our company, or at least they're not expanding very fast. I can't tell you who I work for, but we are a major chain. This effect is happening all across America to restaurants all over the place. The main reason it's going on is because millennials are not going out to dinner the same way that the past generation did. My restaurant's customer basis is almost entirely old people. And a lot of dine-in restaurants, the regular customers are old people. Young millennials, one, do not have a lot of money because we're the most indebted generation. Two, we're the most impatient generation. If we go to a place and we have to wait 20 or 30 minutes to sit down, a few minutes to get a drink, we have to ask for a refill, we have to wait to pay, the food takes forever, it's not gonna appeal to a millennial. So these casual dine-in restaurants are not really making it with millennials and as their older customer basis dies or becomes too ill to come dine in anymore, millennials are starting to kill their business and they're blaming us for it. We also prefer to dine in or cook at home. There's all these services that have become popular like DoorDash and Blue Apron where you get packages delivered to your house full of food or you get takeout delivered to your house from any restaurant you want. So millennials prefer these choices rather than going out and wasting a whole two hours sitting at a restaurant. I personally took my millennial girlfriend out to her birthday dinner a few months ago and it was a horrible experience. We will probably be scarred by it forever. We went up to the bar to order a birthday drink and there's a huge pile of vomit and this was at like 7 p.m. Pile of vomit next to the floor. We told the bartenders they didn't really care. They never cleaned it up. Then we went to the pool area because there was like a fun area. We went to play pool and there was blood on the pool table. We told the manager they ended up giving us a gift card because we found blood and vomit all over the restaurant within the first 10 minutes of walking in the door. So we came back a second time with the gift card to a different location that they promised us was really good. We had to wait 40 minutes to get sat, like I said. The server took a long time to deal with us, but straight up forgot what we ordered. She forgot our food. And then when she came back telling us in a dishonest way that she forgot the food, I told her just give it to us to go. We finally got out of there. It was even awkward trying to pay because she didn't want to charge us anything, but I had a gift card and I wanted to leave her a tip. It was so weird. But when we got home, my girlfriend said to me, baby, thank you for getting stuff to go. I'm so glad we're here at home watching a movie, eating our food. Millennials are not going to continue dining in the way that older people do. So let's go through some articles I found that actually show just how bad the restaurant apocalypse is. Over a thousand restaurant locations closed last year. Some of these that you may be very familiar with or have gone to a lot. 40 Joe's Crab Shacks have closed, and 16 Papa Murphy's Pizza. Polo Tropical, we don't have that where I live, but that's closed 30 stores. Applebee's is the major victim in this apocalypse. They're losing over 135 stores last year, and they'll probably be closing a lot more stores in 2018. Noodles and Company closing 55 restaurants, and Outback Steakhouse closing 43 restaurants. Bob Evans Restaurants, something we don't really have where I live either, that is closing over 20 restaurants last year. Another one people might not think about because they're so big is Subway. Subways have closed over 350 stores last year. That is a lot of sandwich makers out of business. Old Country Buffet closed 11 restaurants. They basically trimmed the fat on a lot of their poor operating stores in the Midwest and East Coast. And Ruby Tuesday is closing 95 stores all across America. What is happening in the restaurant business is that we are shifting to a fast casual industry. Millennials like fast casual food. In my area, we have something called The Habit. I go there all the time. You pay a little bit more than fast food, but you order at the counter, you get your drink, you can refill it, and you can leave when you want, you've already paid. But the food is of higher quality than fast food, but you still get a faster environment eating it. So millennials prefer this environment. If you're serving the restaurant industry, you might want to shift your skill set into catering as well, or possibly pick up a catering delivery job because a lot of restaurants now make their lunch money more in catering than they do in dine-in. These corporate businesses, a lot of them 
their wives don't make them a sandwich for work anymore. Nobody packs the lunch for work anymore. And their company is willing to pay for their lunch because it's a tax write-off and they will pay to keep the employees close and in the office rather than having them disperse and leave the office and have their mind leave the workplace. They want to keep them in the office working and keep their mind there. These companies are ordering large amounts of catering delivery food to their offices and these lunch orders are replacing a lot of lunch business for small restaurants. Also as a restaurant employee you might want to branch out into learning the bar or some extra part of the restaurant perhaps expo so that way if you do have to go to another job you have bartending experience, serving experience, expediting, all these different categories of restaurant work under your belt so you're a more valuable employee. But ultimately we're going to have to adapt and prepare for a shift in the restaurant industry. Great serving jobs are going to become rarer and rarer in the future. So waiters have to adapt, you have to come up with something or train yourself in a different skill or perhaps move entirely out of the restaurant business for your success anyway. It's not a lifetime job for everyone. Some people are servers for life and they find a great niche restaurant, but personally I believe we've all got to find our way to grow out of it eventually. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please smash the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me if your restaurant went out of business and you are out of a job. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. Feel free to subscribe because I do make videos all the time. And as always, just have a great day.